But these are challenging times to be queer and trans in this country. Our very existence has become a talking point on social media and cable news. Our lives are up for debate. It's overwhelming. So what do we do? First, we knit ourselves closer together against the fray. We gather here with hope and optimism for Pride 2023. Here at Los Maganos College, we're doing our first official flag raising. We've been flying it, but we wanted to celebrate a little bit more this year because it's been a really difficult time in our country, our state, and our community for lesbians, gay men, bisexuals, transgendered people, and everyone else who fits in a different category than a normative straight person in America. I've been out since I was 19, so that's been about 14 years, and um, I came out while I was a student here at Las Madonas College. Um, I chose to come back here because I saw the opportunities that I had here, and I wanted to make sure that others who maybe weren't as um, shared the same story as myself, had the same opportunities, and felt included in the conversations and felt safe here like I did and still do feel safe. So I'm just really happy to be an out gay man and to see everybody that has shown up here today and who supports the LGBTQ community. Um, I want to continue to make this campus a safe and inclusive space for everybody, especially LGBTQ. But it's important for us to be coming back onto campus and to be celebrating who we are. And so this is an important time for us for the month of June to recognize our LGBTQIA plus students, staff, and faculty. But it's also a chance for us just to be in community together. And we've been celebrating as many of those milestones as we could all spring semester. So this is kind of a capstone of a series of events that we've been doing. What I think is interesting is just simply being who you are can be seen as an act of political stature in our community right now. And there have been times when the LGBTQ plus community has been more activist and needed to help push on boundaries. We're in a period of time where libraries are being pushed to pull texts that represent who we are um, from their shelves in Florida. Legislation was passed um, that's referred to as the Don't Get Say Gay Bill. This idea that somehow if you don't talk about who you are, it's better for everyone else. And we know that that leads to mental health issues for members of our community. Um, and it, it creates a divisiveness that we can't tolerate. So here at LMC, we are simply oh, open, good, good. accepting, have have and present in a way that is an act of politics in some ways. Yeah, well, I think it's really complex, and I will say I've lived a lot of my life in in red states. Like I moved around a lot growing up, and I think I think it's important to recognize that there are queer and trans folks in in the South, and we can't just like think we're like abandoning them. And like, and I think if you look at a map of this country, it's more of a situation of blue cities and red other counties, and like, and so there's there's you know parts of everywhere that you know that we don't we don't want to just like write off. You know the don't say gay bill, um, the book banning, all of that is dangerous because you erase the people, right? Because at least part of me, right, I think that if you start erasing people, erasing representation, they don't exist. And then when people don't exist, the, or at least to the general population, like to everyone in the country collectively, would not really first be aware of said people, would not probably care about them, and would not know the issues that are going on. Um, seeing so many students show up and really appreciate this historic moment is really cool. I think a lot of the stuff we've seen going on across the world has really driven our community to show up and really um, be visible. Um, we know that visibility is really key to acceptance. As more people see us, get to know us, they recognize that there's nothing to be scared of. And so we, be, we achieve more acceptance through that visibility. And so having everybody here today recognizing and appreciating and celebrating that visibility is really key to further acceptance. So it's really awesome to see.